And um, I just have two more, Mr. Chairman, if I could quickly. Um, <clears throat> I'm starting to, I guess as we look at the bill and kind of look at the details and, and receive testimony, of which we, we've received a lot as a committee over the last few months, um, <clears throat> through email and, and, mm -hmm. and things like that, there is a difference, right, between <clears throat> an HVAC component, say a, you know, a furnace in somebody's home and the, their, you know, toothbrush, as, as sure. you brought up, or a sure. coffee maker, right? I mean, I would think that there'd be less of a safety component if somebody wants to repair, you know, their, their coffee maker in their home, correct? Certainly, and, and I, I'm going to guess that not a whole lot of folks call out for coffee maker repair in their home, but I would say it's a refrigerator or washer, dryer, dishwasher, uh, some of the more ma the larger appliances in the home. Um, you know, a lot of these appliances are certified to organizations like UL, CSA, ASHRAE, and the like, which have safety standards that are recognized, for example, by the Consumer Product Safety Commission. And these are <clears throat> safety standards that, again, ensure the safe operation and the integrity of that product. And, and I often use um, the latch on your washer as an example. And so there's a safety latch that clicks into function when that washing machine is in that high spin um, process part of the uh, washing process. And if you are not properly trained and certified as a technician, so again, affiliated to that brand, you may not know that that's a safety standard and you're performing a repair and you can trip that because it is wired into the firmware of that product. And so we're talking about very serious issues at play. If you have children in the home, children are fascinated by lifting that lid and, and watching that washer go round and round and round, right? And you don't want that child to right. be able to manipulate that, that product <clears throat> at that time. And so these are real considerations that we take very seriously, sir. Okay. Thank you for that. I appreciate the clarification. Sure.